Ah, Stone. You're coming at the best possible moment. Long what? You monster! Ah. Here, here, what a surprise, Mr. Castor, in person. Or should I address you as Commander Castor? I must say that you found a nice distant place for your base. The only unhappy circumstance is that your welcome wasn't friendlier. Where has your sense of decency gone, Castor? Where are your ideals? Where are they? Is this to be the anthem for the liberation of Mars? Seven kilotons of Topex? The god of my patience has one over Castor. This unprovoked assault could not go without a response. Did you think when you attacked me and my people that I'd let it go? Nothing will save you now. You're finished. You were insane to believe your ideals, your base, the entire rebel movement is in ruins. How? How did you learn about our base? Are you asking me you betrayed? You? you can see that I survived your well-prepared plan along with the main center, and it was thanks it's to- It's impossible! I saw you die! How can you in your shape trust what you saw? How can you believe your memories? Since when do you remember who died and how? The loss of memory must be a terrible thing. It allows you to forget your past, to forget who you are, what kind of bastard you actually are. Without his memory, a man has no past. Couldn't it all just be some kind of flashback chaser? What if you were to wake up soon and find yourself on the spaceship on the trip between Earth and Mars? Chaser! Don't let him manipulate you! Kill the devil! He's abusing cloning technologies, draining resources, appropriating things that belong to everyone. He wants to enslave Mars! He's preparing terrible things! Castor, tell this gentleman, Mr. I don't remember you, I will kill you. Exactly who was responsible for the cheerless status in which he now finds himself. Tell him how you attacked Majestic, how you let it explode, and how you interrupted his post-surgical rehabilitation, causing him trauma which cannot so easily be forgotten. Castor! You attack Majestic? You bastard! I had to do it! Right after I learned what he needed you for. He has equipment which can scan the human mind. You would have betrayed all our plans, our hideouts. Nothing would have remained unrevealed. He would have destroyed us completely. But you did it. You escaped and came back. Now kill the monster and complete our plan. You don't know anything, Castor. Long ago, I penetrated your movement. You have no idea how easy it is nowadays to break the human will. How quickly people agree to cooperate after they have experienced my center for non-standard interrogations. It was bad luck that nobody really knew where to find you. You really are paranoid. Practically no one knew where you were. It was Stone who finally brought me to you. Stone? I'll take care of Stone once I've finished with you, Longwood. I have a few questions I want to ask him. You don't remember anything. What are you talking about? Who do you think you are? He doesn't know! You are Stone. I brought you to the world as a rebel striving for revenge. You fulfilled your task perfectly. I don't believe it. Remember your instincts. Remember the flashbacks. Remember your training, which you never could have acquired as a pitiful rebel. Look at the way it all ended in the fight against our units. And it's all over now. They're all dead. My soldiers are, and will remain, the best warriors who have ever been on this planet. And you are their commander. Even those exoskeletons would be an idea. If Castor's band hadn't damaged your memory, you would have fulfilled your mission much earlier with Gomez and Shimako to help you. Now dispose of the poor shit and complete our plan. I need you for your next task. No, I am not Scott Stone. 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 But of course you are. You got him yourself. You shot the original chaser. But before our doctors could get to him, he went into such deep shock from the bullet wound that he couldn't tell as much. Then there were additional complications and he fell into a coma. The prognosis wasn't good, though we didn't call the 
The scanned memory of Chaser was not a help to us because it was an incomplete scan. The computers couldn't manage it, so Plan B was born. You were to take his place after some small correction, such as plastic surgery and a mind swap. However, the process was interrupted and you stayed without a memory. The only thing left was residual memories and the instincts of two separate minds. We almost wrote you off when Gomez began reporting the situation. But we had our miraculous Shimako. And she kick-started the hunter-killer instincts, and you developed your thirst for revenge. You didn't need anything more. Revenge. <laughs> Your entire concentration was focused on getting Scott Stone. What irony. In any case, it helped you get to Mars. Although on your way, you traveled halfway across that dung heap of Earth. And could you pick the locations? You say you scanned my memory. Where is it now? Have you got a backup? If I really am Scott Stone, you should have it. Chase, for God's sake, don't believe him. You aren't Stone. You're John Chaser. I know you well. Kill this devil. Finish the job. Your memory was stored in the main computer that adjusted. Now it's probably somewhere either in hell or in Montex City, which is only a jump from there. So he has no proof. He's bluffing. You are John Chaser. Shut up. You won't live much longer. You'll become my puppet. I'll pound all your knowledge from your head. None of those who escape today will survive. Not after today. You, Stone, come. You belong to us. Ah! You don't remember anything. rebel cells. It doesn't matter. There's no one to leave them. We'll catch them like the whip dogs they are. You just sent them all to their deaths. <laughs> or rescued them, Longwood. I figure what you're up to. Huh. Never mind. We have nothing more to do. Catch Stone! Take everything you need and lay the charges. We're going.